Story number one. Am I the a-hole for not going to my sister's wedding? My sister 35F is getting married this fall. When she got engaged, she asked me 30F to be a bridesmaid approximately a year ago. Recently, she gave out her bridesmaid proposal boxes and I did not receive one. I was cut out of the wedding party. I never said anything because personally, I feel like it would come across selfish. And if she selected people to be a part of her day, then so be it. I was hurt though. A little backstory, my sister and I have history. She has done some very wicked things to me. As example, she had a baby when I was 15 years old and told me if I babysat for her every day after. School she would gift me her old car on my 16th birthday. Fast forward after babysitting for 6 hours every day for a year. She sold that car and kept the money and told me to get over it. My sister has excluded me from all wedding activities, such as dress shopping, etc., but yet my sil, mom, grandma, etc. have all been invited. Now back to the wedding, I recently got the invitation and scanned the QR code to go to her wedding site, where I discovered that I was excluded from a plus one as well and cannot bring my boyfriend. Of two years, if I were to go to this wedding that I was already debridesmated, I would also have to attend alone. I decided I honestly did not want to go and told my mother. She's calling me the whole telling me that I'm going to regret this and it's ridiculous to not attend over some bad history and your boyfriend not being allowed to come. For reference, it wasn't about the plus one. It was just my final straw. Am I the whole or am I justified in my decision? End of the story. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment. Hit like and follow to subscribe for more intriguing stories. Thanks for watching. Story number two. Today, my next door pregnant neighbor knocked on my door. Around 7 p.m. today, I heard some knocking on my door. I opened it and it was my next door pregnant neighbor. She was, I think, in her seventh or eighth month. She was holding a small plate in her hand in a very shy voice. She asked me if I can give her some of whatever I was cooking because she liked the smell. I think pregnant women sometimes have strong cravings and they cannot resist it. Anyway, she was shy and apologized a lot for her request since we don't know each other. I laughed and told her it is okay. I was cooking a traditional meal from my country and the recipe has olive oil, garlic, jalapenos and some spices. I think the smell was nice. I gave her some of my dinner then she left. I watched her walking home like a cute little penguin who's happy with her successful little hunting. I felt really happy too for some reason. End of the story. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment. Hit like and follow to subscribe for more wholesome stories. Thanks for watching. Story number three. I really enjoyed watching my neighbor fall in love. My bedroom window faces my neighbor's kitchen and front yard. I don't try to spy on him or deliberately watch him. But our windows face each other, so when I'm at my desk, I often will catch a momentary glimpse of his life. He got divorced or separated close to five years ago. The lawn started to get long. His kid was a bit more free-range. You could see the kitchen table getting covered with letters and dishes. The back porch was falling apart. It was sad to see. I've never spoken to him, but we wave to each other sometimes, and he seems nice enough. But a few months ago, I noticed him staying up really late often. He had put a new computer on the kitchen table, and on my many bathroom breaks, I would see him up at the computer. Sometimes with the curtain pulled, but still with the computer glow on the edges. Soon after the lawn was cut, the table was cleared off. A few days later, an unknown car was parked on our street outside his house. It showed up a few more times until one day I glance out to see him holding hands walking with a mystery woman. She was beautiful honestly, and they looked so happy. They were talking and laughing and walking back from getting coffee. The lawn's been neat. He's doing what looks like improvement projects again, and he's even shaving and standing up taller. It's really nice to see. Since then, I smile whenever the new car is parked outside my neighbor's house, and the lights have still been on super late, but now it's upstairs, and I don't get a view in that one. But I'm sure they're having a great time. Can't really tell anyone I'm sort of spying on my neighbor, so figured I'd let Reddit know. End of the story. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment. Hit like and follow to subscribe for more intriguing stories. Thanks for watching. Story number four.
Am I the A hole for telling my sister she's not a witch? I'm 20 and my sister is 22. She has become obsessed with witch stuff and I thought it was just an aesthetic thing. But she genuinely believes in some weird stuff. Has an altar at her apartment and tries selling blessings and hexes on Etsy. My birthday was recently and she got me a rock. I laughed at first before realizing she was serious. I was pissed because I bought her an iPhone portable charger and she earns more than me. So I snapped at her and said, it's all bullshit. And she needs a reality check and to find better hobbies. She's been crying to our mom, but am I really the a-hole? End of the story. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment. Hit like and follow to subscribe for more bizarre stories. Thanks for watching.